tea. Get nice and relaxed. Let's make sure the live stream's in for Twitch. Nice. And uh, we're still waiting for the Rumble live stream to kick in. We got everything else set up here. Awesome, awesome. Uh, where is the chat on Rumble? Oh, the live stream has to kick in before the chat pops up. And let's do a little test run on our night bots. Make sure it's working fine. It is, it is, it is. Sweet, sweet, sweet. And let's go back to Rumble and we'll wait until for it to kick in. Hi, everyone. I hope you're doing well. Rumble just kicked in. We're live on Twitch. And I am Chicho. Today is September 24th, 2023. And we're doing a live stream open discussion on current events. Elder God, how are you doing? <laughs> Subscribers are thinking about you. Oh, I popped in late. I was on Rumble trying to find the chat for it. I can't find the chat for it to pop up. Interesting. Where is the chat? Where is the chat? Well, I don't see the chat. Huh. I don't know if there is a chat on Rumble. Hello, all finished, dude. How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. Elder God here, one sub, 20 months. Oh, we gotta get a drink going, but we'll do a salute with the tea for now. Salute, salute. I hope you're doing well, Elder God, and finished, dude. Salutations. You're getting a Rumble air. I see it uh, live streaming from my end. Uh, yeah, I see it live streaming from my end. I'm just gonna refresh here. Well, do you see it live streaming from your end? I don't see the chat on Rumble. Where is the chat on Rumble? I'm nervous about uh, <laughs> refreshing. <laughs> Let me open up a new panel. No, I see it there. It's just no chat. I don't see chat on Rumble. If chat does pop up, uh, let me know. Okay, J Pal, salutations, subscribe, subscribe. Tier one for 20 months as well. Salutations, I gotta get the tequila going. Salute, gang. Finished, dude. I'm happy it snowed already uh, three days ago. Nice, nice. It's gotten cold here in Canada as well, west coast of Canada. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> The cannabis plants are still growing, uh, so um, we we pulled them in. I brought the cannabis plants inside the house, and our and our house uh, is nice cannabis smell going to it right now. Uh, I love the snow. Looking forward to it. Jay Powell says, "Yeah, yeah, me too. Looking forward to it as well. Uh, I want a nice chill, homebound, relaxed winter." I don't see the live stream. You don't see the live stream on Rumble. Interesting. I see it from my end. I don't know why it wouldn't be. Hmm. I don't know. The ba -ba 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 -ba. let me uh, make the recording. No, it's not. Mm. No, it should be public. Just now, oh, why does it say private? Shoot. Oh, no, that's, no, that is. How come it's private? Edit. Public. Public. Save. Okay. <laughs> Let me see what happens to it. Let me refresh. It went to private first. Oh, and there's a chat. Nice. Okay. Uh, oh, God, it should be working now. For some reason, it went private. Uh, it shouldn't have gone private. And I'm going to click this. Are you sure you want to make live live replay private for stream upgrading? Okay, you know what? I'm just going to leave that alone. And uh, let's see. And the chat's there now, so I'm going to pop out the chat. Interesting. I did the same thing that I was doing before, but uh, for some reason it did something else. Hm. Neat. Neat. Uh, da -da -da -da. Uh, 20 25 centimeter bananas what's that all about <laughs> 25 centimeter bananas what so it should be there now all i got 
uh, Spencer man Spencer rice man how are you doing hey hope you're uh, doing well your show indeed indeed no nope. hope everyone's good lonely piggy how are you doing yo it's no 20 oh it's no 25 centimeters already wow wow I see you on rumble yes we're on rumble <laughs> nice okay on that note gang tequila nice and chill nice and chill okay tequila on the rocks just relax do some readings you'll notice in the background the bookshelf changed a little bit i'm going to show you guys the books i picked out from the bookshelf okay and uh, i got my hat here with the numbers and we're going to do random draw and read a little bit from one and then pick another one and do another random draw okay how's that sound we do that for two days sound good actually yes. reading books with a nice drink fun fun random extracts <laughs> random extracts yeah random extracts uh, the chat can decide or we can just go with the same page number for whatever we pick out to read okay uh while we're about seven minutes in we'll start off pretty soon i think um let's see rumbles good uh twitch is good 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 all good uh, so what i'm gonna do is uh do my little intro i'm not sure if notifications have gone out uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. I would find myself in some ditch after drinking that. <laughs> Good thing I ain't going out. Salute. Salute, gang. Welcome to our live stream. Nice and chill. Nice and chill. We're going to let it cool down a little bit. Let it water down a little bit. Dilute. Lonely Piggy went to a bar with co workers yesterday. I don't drink, but the waiter gave our group free shots yikes gave me free uh fries since i don't drink an absolute win in my book nice <laughs> nice waiter nice waiter notifications have gone out awesome elder god awesome temporary peace salutations hope you're doing well 006 hey chicho what you got there arach no not arach i should get some arach i should get some arach uh tequila tequila this guy is my two go to tequila now espolon espolon tequila the white one uh, so nice and chill easy peasy drink could be harsh don't drink too much right salute gang uh quick intro quick intro we're on patreon substack subscribe star uh, for those of you who are supporting this work on those platforms and more gang thank you very much for the support including the support that we're getting on twitch and on our video sharing platforms uh sensor to bitch rumble and odyssey right now we're live streaming on twitch and rumble i thought about maybe doing a test run on sensor to but i decided to hold off for now um just because uh, I just want to hold off i want to let it digest a little bit to see if we're going to get into live streaming on sensor tube at least the intro uh, part of things um we'll start off with those by the way test on uh tube test on tube possibly I, th I thought about it i looked at it looks fairly straightforward same as uh live streaming on rumble uh, but i don't want to go on there with a full live stream because this should this is going to be uh, uh okay to load on sensor tube i'm still a mod on sensor tube awesome good 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 uh so this this live stream should be okay to live stream on sensor tube but i want to start off with uh something that we won't be able to load on sensor tube and do a test run live and see if it kicks in and then we'll figure things out uh, gang we do have a guild server you're definitely welcome to join us there um, join our little community share whatever you want um, 
we are recording this on a lapel mic and the audio will be oh, oh, put on <laughs> SoundCloud as a podcast and that podcast should be available in your favorite podcasting platform including Spotify, iTunes, Amazon, Google Play or whatever it is right um, we do have a Twitter account for now we're on Minds, we're on VK, we're on Gab, we're on Substack Notes, and we're on Getter. Okay, we'll see how we do on new platforms that we may load on, and what happens when we start live streaming on BitChute and other platforms as well. I'm gonna take these guys down. And again, this should be uh, sensor tube, uh, should be able to load it onto sensor tube. Okay. Salute, gangs, and as always, salute to the mods, gang. Salute to the mods, Elder God. So, gang, yoga XM salutations. What's up, Sergi? <laughs> Are you talking about? Are you talking about? Do, 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 do. Hey, where is our surge emote? Oh, we're missing the surge emote. Oh, there it is. Doink, doink, doink. Doink. Father, into your hands I come, command my spirit. <laughs> Gang, today is September. 24th is that God <laughs> lonely piggy thank you very much for the twitch prime sub salutations you've been subscribed for 13 months in a row Svenson, how are you doing low you low-key remind me of surge I've heard that before. <laughs> I've heard that before. Gang, today is uh, September 24th. Today and tomorrow, we're going to do book readings. Excerpts from books that we're going to pick out here. Okay. Let me give you a little rundown of what we got. Okay. Speedy Gonzalez. And I put the numbers. There's 21 books. Okay. A couple of times, J-Pal says, I find the lyric a bit disturbing. Uh, I got the numbers here. No, how's that going to work? It's not going to work. Anyway, the w 1 to 21. Okay. Uh, we'll fold these guys up and put the, put the numbers into the hat. My, my hat. And we'll pick them out and we'll do readings right first book on the list number 21 let's throw it in the hat Boop. let's throw it in the hat Boink. is no it doesn't have a thing Boop. the complete the complete golden dawn system of magic this is the 1990 version okay 1990 version I haven't read anything from no no i've read a page or two from this i had friend uh, i have friends or had friends uh, that wanted to get rid of this and i went what i'll take it uh, they were going to throw it away or donate it and i said please donate it to me thank you very much i'll grab this baby okay so that's book number 21. golden <laughs> i'm familiar with are you familiar with this friend nice 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 any salt triple crepe on that uh salt triple crepe i don't know that what you doing dark wheat co cobra salutations first time chat welcome to our live stream we're going to read books or excerpts from books i got 21 books picked out here i'm both i'm showing you what the books are right now okay Yeah, yeah, Elder God, we saw that you posted. Was it you that posted that in our Gilded? Very cool, very cool. And gang, do not forget, do not forget. 
very important. Free Assange, Free Assange, Free Assange. Julian Assange, the publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capital's power to humanity. Something that we desperately need in our societies. For more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, or countless resources available on free speech platforms. Salute, gang. Metamancer says, my first lodge in Barcelona was full of golden dawn, guys. Really? Cool, cool. Crack. How are you doing? Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Cheryl is busy tonight, so probably won't make it. Alaga says, no worries. She's allowed to be busy <laughs> every, every Sunday, every now and then. Right? Since we showed this, let me show you a couple other books. I'm going uh, out of order. Should we go out of order? No, no, no. Let's stay in order. Okay. Three books by C.S. Lewis. Three books by C.S. Lewis. He is the art author that I've read the most of. Uh, I might have more of his books handy. I've read way more books from C.S. Lewis than these three, but these are the three that I could find. Uh, C.S. Lewis, Fern, Seed, and Elephants. These are essays, a handful of essays that he wrote. Okay, fantastic read, fantastic read. We got... C.S. Lewis, Mere Christianity. I've read that one in entirety. I've read this one, Mere Christianity. Uh, C.S. Lewis, Screwtape Letters. I've read this one as well. There's some books here that I haven't read. Okay, so Screwtape Letters. So that's number one, two, three. Let's put these in here. Obviously, these aren't permanent stickies that I put on here because we're not going to mess it up. So we're going to put one, two, and three. Fold them up, throw them in. All right. One, two, three. Boink, doink, doink. One, two, and three. Doop. Throw them in the hat, throw them in the hat. Doop, doop, doop. Book number four and number five. Frank Herbert's Dune, okay, and Dragon Wing by first book. Thank you very much for the sub. Hey Z, one, two, three. Salutations, salutations. Salute, salute, salute. Margaret Wise and Tracy Hickman. This is a seven issue series. Uh, I've read the whole series. Fantastic read. I just figured this is book one, by the way. Okay. So four and five, we're going to put in here. Four and five. Doop. Number four, number five. Throw them in the hat. Throw them in the hat. Uh, I just bought Dune uh, 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 Yoga Max. Yoga, Yoga XM. Yoga Max? Uh, I just bought Dune from uh, uh, Myopic Books in Chicago. Wicker Park, nice, nice. Uncharted Ace, salutations, how are we doing? Hey, Chicho, and chat. Haven't caught a stream in a while. Hope all is well. Where uh, where are you? W wherever you are, I'm assuming. Hazy, one, two, three. Just come back from a week in Istanbul. And the first thing I do is uh, switch on some Chicho. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, this book I found uh, pretty cool. I've taken some some of these. I've taken notes. This is God's Equation by Amir D. Uh, Axel. Okay, it's uh, basically goes through sort of historical account of how Einstein came up with the, um, his theory on the electrodynamics. His paper on electrodynamics on moving bodies and relativity and stuff like this. It was a good read. It was a good read. So that's number six. And here, let's put number six on there. Book six. Boop. And then number seven. Come on. Yeah. Number seven is one of the most important political books you can read. Gore Vidal, Perpetual War for Perpetual Peace. That's number seven. Okay. I've read this as well. Great read, great read important read number seven i'm just going to throw it in the hat gang i won't hold it up every time Whoop, get in here every time uh you look older than uh, 
uh, yoga. You look older than 34 when you are you are running for president, huh? Elder God, C.S. Lewis actually died the day JFK was assassinated. Oh, did he? Oh, I didn't know that. No, did we lose a number? Number three. Uh, what did we put in? We put in seven, I think. Yeah, there's number eight. So number eight, I haven't read this book. Alexander Sol Zin... I don't know how to pronounce this. We never make mistakes. Okay. I haven't read this. Number eight. You can hear an ice cream truck outside, gang. Number eight. Number eight. Number nine. Just bought this book. I got two copies. Or we got two copies. The Real Anthony Fauci by Robert F. Kennedy Jr. I've read a little bit of it online. A couple of pages. Two or three, four pages online. Important book. Very historical. Very important. Did I say that? Right? Burn it. Okay. Number nine. I haven't read it. Just a couple of pages. Number nine. Okay. Sure is. Ice cream, ice cream. Over was going to burn the ice cream truck, Elder God says. He doesn't deserve publicity. Uh, Robert F. Kennedy? Wow. Well, Robert F. Kennedy. I think burning it is. Robert F. Kennedy is trying to get Anthony Fauci in jail, right? Gee, ha, how are you doing? Any snacks today? I got some eggs. Uh, hard boil some eggs. I felt like good protein. Good protein. Elder God will appreciate this. I've already had a little bit. Right? Warm and loose. Yo, how are you doing? I like eggs. I eat a lot of eggs. <laughs> Pre paper, actually. Eggs is good protein. I'm good fat. Salut, okay. On, did I put um, number 10 I'm gonna put number 10 in there I'm gonna show you number 10 this is jar the mall beyond the green zone dispatches from an unembedded journalist in occupied Iraq okay uh, forget about the forward by Amy Goodman Amy Goodman can kiss my ass she's been a clown ever since uh, Russiagate right uh 2016 it was horrendous uh what democracy now has done uh right but dar jamal fantastic i videotaped i have the videos online right uh, i videotaped dar jamal giving a presentation in 2006 maybe seven eight maybe i can't remember um of him doing a book promo for this he's the only independent journalist in iraq american that went there and reported okay uh incredible account i haven't read this uh i've read parts dar jamal read a few segment a few pages that i recorded it's available online okay important book Number 11, Tamara Litch. Hold the line. Canadian hero. Okay. Metis, grandmother, one of the organizers for the peaceful trucker rally convoys. Uh, resisting Canadian government's tyranny. Okay. Fantastic. Number 11. Let's put number 11 in there. I haven't read that. We read a few pages uh, when I showed you guys the signing. And those that book is signed for the Chichoyan, Chichoyan, Chichonian community. Okay. We've read a few pages of this. 
The Essential Psychedelic Guide by D.M. Turner. Loose pages. I'm reading the one that's loose pages, reader copy. Right? We've already read a few pages. We'll read more. We'll read more. One day we'll read it from front to cover. Maybe we'll just keep on reading the excerpts. Right? Number 12. We lost the number here. We lost number 17. Number 12. Let's throw that in the... It's not 21. It's 12. Oh, wait a second. Yeah, that's number 12. Uh, number 13. Uh, Black Holes and Baby Universes uh, by Stephen Hawking. I've read this. It was a good read. No, Liz is asking, have I read Malcolm X's autobiography? I haven't. I haven't. I've read uh, a fair bit, uh, a fair bit about Malcolm X. Um, and watched some documentaries, but I've never read his book. I need to, I definitely do need to read it. Number 13. Oh my god, I eat 12 eggs a day. <laughs> nice. Also, <laughs> uh, lonely piggy pickled eggs are one of one way to step up hard boiled eggs, and they're so good. They're so good. They're so good. Uh, Gia, why does food look so much tastier when it's nicely presented? I don't know. Because it's nicely presented. We're visual creatures, right? Number. Oh, we lost number 13. Let's put number 13 back on here. And that's number 15. Number 14, The Tao of the I Ching, Ways of Divination, by Zhu Suang Hua. This is, he's a Tai Chi master that only got into Tai Chi. I believe he was around 55 when he got into Tai Chi. And within a short few years, he became a Tai Chi master. Uh, he's considered to be one of the greats. And I've read this book. It's fantastic. I've taken a fair bit of notes on it. Um, so, not bad. Elder God, that I have definitely read. Nice. <laughs> nice. Number 14. Okay. Uh, one of my friends that's uh, uh, done a lot of martial arts, done martial arts for like three decades now, he recommended it. Oh God, I met Stephen Hawkins. Biden is running the music. <laughs> Hilarious. It's really too bad how uh, how far democracy now has fallen. Yeah, indeed, crack. So actually, so vomit inducing. So vomit inducing. Oh, I put it in the wrong place. Number fourteen. Number 15, Robert Anton Wilson, Wilhelm Reich in Hell. Great read. Heavy metal musical about the life of Wilhelm Reich by Robert Anton Wilson. Lucifer, salutations, Lucifer. Hello, sir. Hi, chats. How are you doing? Hey, do you see this, Lucifer? The complete golden law, a golden <laughs> dawn system of magic. That might be one of the books we read, read a little bit of. Right. 15 I gotta put number 15 in there number 15 ice cream man followed by sirens. number 16 Lucifer we got the Bible all right we got the Bible doop 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 we got the Bible number 16 right. let's put number 16 in there Thirty minutes used warning. Thirty minutes used warning. I don't know what that means. Well, if we got the Bible, might as well get the Quran as well, right? The Final Testament, Quran, number eighteen. Number eighteen. I gotta show you number seventeen. Actually, I'm gonna switch this up. I'm gonna put the Bible, and uh, so I'm gonna put make make the Quran. The Bible is number sixteen. The Quran is number seventeen. Okay. Let's put number 17, 17 in there. There's number 17 in that. Number 18. I haven't read this one. Magic, Mysticism, and Modern Medicine. Journal of a Family Physician. 
Irving Oil. I don't know this book. No, I don't have the Talmud. Ah, my partner might have the Talmud. Uh, Spencer Reisman. Or my partner's family. Uh, she's Jewish, so... And I was raised Christian. A fantastic book that at a time when I tried to read it, I figured, it, figured out I was too dumb to read it. <laughs> so I started reading a lot more. Guru Escher Bach by Douglas, Douglas Hofstetter. Right? I've read some of the Oran, Lucifer. Uh, main reason I read it because the number 19 uh, appears a lot in there. It's a foundation of it from what I understand. So I read some of it. Okay. Guru Lesher Bach, number 19. Number 19. Oh, we're going to put number 18 in there. Number 18. That was magic. Number 19. That was Guru Lesher Bach. And number 20 goes in our hat. Number 20. And number 20 is. Might as well. Time and the Technosphere by Jose Arguelles. Talks about the Mayan calendar and stuff like this. Great read. I don't agree with all of it, but good read. Okay, fun read. Oh, I can feel this cozy vibe here. <laughs> nice Lucifer. <laughs> right? We got that in there. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Ronnie, yeah, I've seen this before. Hello, Chicho and Chat. I started reading Emotional Intelligence. Cool. I don't know the book, but cool. Alice, what do you think of it? I only got quote. And do not mix the truth with falsehood or conceal the truth while you know it. Zoot, how are you doing? Salutations. You showed up on our gilded and you found your way to the live stream. Salute. Salute to Zoot and to another mod. We're going to read excerpts from books. I just showed 21 books. Okay. From spiritual to magic to political to uh, esoteric to just uh, uh, fantasy to sci-fi uh, to... To tai chi <laughs> okay bang bros user and then i've numbered them put the numbers in a hat we're gonna mix it up we're gonna pick a book and you guys tell us what pages you want read right bang bros user just clocked out and jumped into the whip uh it's Get it. Let's get it, Chicho. Nice, Bang Bros. I wish Chicho watched American football. Ah, Metaman, sir. After these readings, we will, uh, we we all will be in another dimension. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I miss some uh, Kabbalah. Oof. Some myths and magic. It is interesting. It is interesting, gang. Should I pick a number? I'm gonna pick a number. Number six, number six. And when we pick a number, we're gonna take it out of the hat because tomorrow we're gonna to continue the reading. Okay. Elder God, six, yes sir. <laughs> Did you guess number six before we picked it? What the F? Number six, saw that coming, what? <laughs> Six six six. What's number six? Ah, oh, Amir, the uh, axils, right? God's equation. Whoa, trippy. We got magic. We got uh, religious. We got esoteric and stuff. And we picked the scientific version of it, right? Very cool. Very cool. Right. So number six. This book I read uh, a couple of decades ago. I read it because I was really um, that I read Einstein's uh, papers 
Einstein's two papers anyway, but the, the one uh, paper on uh, the electrodynamics of moving bodies that we put out in uh, 1918 or 1915 or something like this. And I was reading on a toilet. I kept on reading, I kept on reading, I kept on reading, and I finally understood why we can't travel at the speed of light, right? Which was, poof, okay, groundbreaking. And I read it after I had gone through that was a little bit of uh, Guru Lashar Bach, right? So I was trying to understand many things, right? Where I was already experimenting with Salvia Divinorum and huge, right? So um, I, I grabbed this book because I wanted to understand how Einstein came up with the theory of relativity and what was involved. What I got out of this book was that Einstein was nowhere the genius as Nikola Tesla, right? Not even close, right? Uh, not even close. Tesla was the real thing. Einstein was a manager, right? <laughs> she chose Walter White moment. <laughs> awesome, right? Uh, Einstein was a manager, right? He had ideas, dreams, and stuff like this. Some people say he was connected into uh, certain uh, sects, right? Whatever you think of Einstein, we're not going to go into the political realm of it. We already got political books here. It was my, this book is really just about trying to explain how Einstein came with the theories that he did and how it sort of revolutionized science at the time, no matter if you believe in that or not, right? And basically, the summary of this book is Einstein didn't come up with it himself. He wasn't a, he wasn't a phenomenal mathematician, a phenomenal physicist, or even uh, technician where he could collect the data he he had to contact mathematicians to figure out how the mathematics was done physicists to figure out uh, to get their take if this physics works and he had to contact technicians to people who collected data to prove his theories right or some of them good read gang what page should we read number six god's equation einstein relativity and the expanding universe i'm going to read this uh, book list one of the most exciting uh, little just you know promo on the stuff quote one of the most exciting detective stories ever told a marvelous dis distillation of epic making science book list right page 66 metamancer says page 66 high iq than a, yeah Elder God says, I'm very good at relativity. Every truth seeker must be good at this. Every truth seeker must be good at this. Indeed. Indeed. Dane. Dane Gleensack. My, my bearded dragon enjoys watching. <laughs> awesome. Page 66, gang. Let's go to page 66. And what we're going to do... There's a preface, page 66. And uh, I'll try to pick out a good section to read. I already have some stuff highlighted here, right? Uh, tensors, additional stuff highlighted, tensors. I start page 65. Oh, and it goes to the end of the chapter. So it's chapter five. Let's do this. So that's chapter six so you pick the last few pages of chapter five right and chapter five chapter five what is chapter five crossman's notebook starts at page 61 one two three four five six seven i don't want to spend too much time reading too much of this uh, each book because that way we won't get to the rest of it i want to give get a good feel of all the books so how about we okay now let's read this whole thing starting so we're going to read chapter five should we read chapter five if if it's taking me too long because i'm a slow reader uh, we'll Paul Hafferfest, Albert Einstein. Here's a picture here. 1921. Take a look at the picture. 
Okay. I can't see if it's focusing or not. There we go. Right? That's on page 68. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to start reading chapter 5. Okay. Of God's equation by Amir de de Akzel. Okay. Chapter 5, page 61. Gro Grossman's notebooks. Quote, he, on good terms with the teachers and understanding everything, I, a pariah, discounted and little loved. End quote. Einstein in a letter to Marcel uh, Grossman, Grossman's widow. Einstein, a willful and impatient student, nonetheless needed a solid grounding in mathematics for his revolutionary uh, theories. Much of this he got by uh, cribbing from the notebooks of a better behaved student, Marcel Grossman. Marcel Grossman, 1878 to 1936, was born in Budapest, or Budapest, to a family with a long Swiss lineage. When he was 15, Grossman returned to Switzerland, finished high school, and from, 19, from 1896 to 1900, studied at the ETH in Zurich. Grossman studied mathematics at the University of Zurich, specializing in geometry, and learned a doctorate in this field. He later wrote papers and textbooks on non-Euclidean uh, geometry. In contrast to Einstein, his fellow student at the ETH at the turn of the century, Grossman was very uh, conscientious, always attending classes and taking meticulous notes, a teacher's dream of a student. Grossman attended the lectures of Mikowski and of other mathematicians and physicists at the ETH. His notebooks, which are now preserved and displayed at the archives of the ETH, were later a later of crucial importance to Einstein in developing the mathematics he badly needed in order to produce his general theory of relativity. Einstein's key equation was based on this and other more uh, advanced mathematics, but Einstein was indebted to his friend Grossman for more than mathematics. Grossman's father helped Einstein obtain his position by the Swiss Patent Office in Bern when the young graduate could not find a job. In 1905, the year Einstein published his first paper on special relativity and the equation E equals MC squared, he also submitted his doctoral dissertation to the University of Zurich. The thesis, quote, on a new determ determination of molecular dimensions, end quote, was dedicated to his friend's friend, Marcel Grossman. It was Grossman who, in late 1911, contacted Einstein in Prague to find out whether he would be interested in returning to Switzerland to take up a position at the ETH in Zurich, where he had been a student. Einstein, who by then had off offers from a number of other universities in Europe, was thrilled to accept the offer from the ETH and returned to Swiss soil, where while he had to take up Austro-Hungarian Austro citizenship in order to be able to accept this appointment in Prague earlier this year, he had also kept his Swiss citizenship. In early 1912, Einstein returned to his beloved Switzerland. Having concluded that space is non-Euclidean, Einstein needed help. He came for this help to his old friend, now rec recognized expert in exactly the area Einstein needed to understand. Some Einstein biographers and writers of books on relativity claim that Einstein was not good in mathematics. There is nothing further from the truth. The scientist who gave the world the theories of relativity was a superb mathematician. 
The problem was that in his early days as a student at the ETH, Einstein didn't care much about sitting in lecture halls to listen to mathematics. He understood enough mathematics to devise special relativity, and he was able to pick up whatever else he needed on his own. Einstein's relationship with the math mathematician Hermann Mikowski served as a case in point. Einstein did not take seriously Mikowski's lectures at the ETH. Years later, when special relativity was accepted by a scientific community, Mikowski wrote about the mathematics of Einstein's relativity, whose four-dimensional space is often referred to as Mikowski space. Unlike Einstein, Grossman was a serious student of mathematics. His notes hold a special place in the development of Einstein's general theory of relativity. Now back at the ETH, Einstein realized that he needed help, very urgent help. If space is non-Euclidean, then he would have to understand its geometry well before he could do anything further with his ideas about gravitation and relativity. For Einstein knew, for Einstein knew next to nothing about the actual geometries of space. Gross, Grossman pulled out his yellowing uh, lecture notes from the turn of the century and look for hints as to where Einstein should start in his model of the universe and its forces of gravity. The notes and Grossman's subsequent work on geometry told him that the specific methods his good friend would need were those developed in the late 1800s by two Italian mathematicians, Giorgio Ricci and his gifted student Tolino Le Levi Sevita. Ironically, back in Prague, the mathematician Greg Pick had also told Einstein that the work of these two scholars could help him develop the mathematic mathematics he needed for pursuing his theory. But apparently, Einstein was not impressed at the time. Now with Grossman and his and his guide. To the world of geometry he was eager to listen non-euclidean geometry itself could not give answers to einstein's equations such geometries describe space in terms of lines angles parallel circles and so on einstein needed a, needed a lot more he needed most of all equality of invariance good physic physical laws are invariant they do not change as the frame of reference in the units of measurements measurement change it should take two hours to drive a distance of 120 to drive a distance of 120 miles at 60 miles an hour and the answer should not change if you denote the distance in kilometers and the speed in kilometers per hour. Einstein was looking for a mathematical tool to allow him to transcend the curvature of space, its non-Euclidean nature, so that the variables of the theory would be valid in any kind of space curvature. Grossman was generous with his notes and references, but this wasn't enough to solve Einstein's riddle of gravitation. After working hard on the problem for several months in 1912, Einstein issued a plea to his old friend, quote, Grossman, du must, du, du must mir helfen, sonst wird ich wracht, end quote translated into english grossman you must help me or else i'll go crazy gross grossman heeded the plea and began collaborating in earnest with einstein the result was a number of papers the two wrote in the problem of gravitation these papers were another step in the direction of a general theory of relativity, but they fell short of what was needed for a complete understanding of the complicated phenomena they pur um, purported to describe. Uh, 
It was then that Einstein turned his attention to the concept of a tensor. This concept also helps demonstrate the increasingly complex mathematics needed to solve the problem of relativity. First, the special theory, and then more complicated general theory of relativity. Simple systems can be described by equations whose elements are single number variables. A line, for example, is given by the equation y equals ax plus b, where x and y are single numbers and a and b are coefficients, which are also single numbers. In a line, in a line with slope a equals 2 and intercept b equals 3, one can solve the value of y when x equals 5 as y equals 2 times 5 plus 3 equals 13. As the problem becomes more complicated, more one may uh, require several, several equations or an equation whose variable variables are set of numbers. Here, x would be a vector or an ordered set of numbers, and the same would be true of y and any other variables. In physics, velocity, acceleration, and force are all vectors. Hence, all of them have both a magnitude and a direction, and thus each of them is described as a set of numbers. But what Einstein needed now was a generalization of vector to yet another level of complexity. He needed a tensor, a variable that is an extension of the concept of a vector. A, vari uh, a vector in three-dimensional space has three components. A second-order tensor in three-dimensional space has three to the nine, three squared equals nine components. A tensor maintains the invariance principle required by Einstein and it accounts for the variable in a complex situation. General relativity needed, needed posed very complex problems. Einstein had to take into consideration 10 quantities denoted G U V D G uh, mu V which accounted for the curvature of the space of four dimensions three for space one for time the animal that accounted for the the animal that accounted for the curvature g mu v was a tensor called the metric tensor hence uh, since it was a measure of distance in curved space curved space but the mathematics needed to yield meaningful results was not yet at hand something else was needed something more general than the ricci and levy sevita results einstein had to have a way of manipulating the metric tensor so that the invariance principle would hold under any transformation of his equation he needed a way of transcending the curvature of space, whatever form that curvature might take. His work with Grossman allowed him invariance, allowed him invariance only under linear transformations, a situation which was too restrictive for what he had to achieve. But Einstein only became fully aware of the shortcomings of his work with Grossman in the summer of 1913. Einstein enjoyed very much his new life in Zurich. He was at a place he knew and loved, and he was with his family. His wife, uh, Milva, and their two sons were very attached to, uh, to Switzerland, and this contributed to his sense of well-being. And Einstein was among friends. It was here that he began dis discussing the problems of universe with students and colleagues. Einstein's developing equations of gravitation already had some implications about the universe as a whole, and he was enthusiastically trying to explore these implications about the universe in which we live.
Friends and colleagues often described a carefree Einstein leaving the lecture halls of the university, surrounded by a group of students, and heading to his favorite cafe, the Teresa Cafe, at the bottom of the Zurchberg. They would spend hours there discussing the philosophical implications of the theories about the context, shape, past, and future of the vastness of space in which we live. But in the spring of 1913, Einstein has a, had a visit that would change his life and again cause him to uproot himself and his family and move to another country. It was a visit to Zurich by Max Planck, 18. 58 to 1947 and Hermann Nest 1864 to 1941 Max Planck was the greatest physicist of the time he was a key figure in the development of the of of the quantum theory and according to a la later admission by Einstein Planck was the only scientist he truly admired he knew that the uh, admiration and respect were mutual. Planck and the physicist Hermann uh, Nurst had lobbied hard in Berlin for an invitation to Einstein to join the faculty of the University of Berlin. Planck and Nurst arrived in Zurich and met Einstein at his apartment. By that time, he had he had other offers, among them one for a professorship in Leiden, uh, the Netherlands. The two worked hard at convincing Einstein to take the position in Berlin, but he did not want to make a quick decision. While he was making up his mind, Planck and Nurse went on a mountain climbing trip in the Swiss Alps. Einstein promised them that by the time they returned, he would have an answer for them. Quote, there will be a sign, so you will know my answer as soon as you see me, end quote. He said, when their train rolled into Zurich railway station, they saw Einstein standing on the platform. He was holding a red rose in his hand. Einstein moved from Zurich to uh, Zurich he loved to, Ber to a Berlin where anti-Semitism was already rising has been a topic of great speculation. It seems that Einstein had several reasons for making such an unexpected decision. First, Berlin uh, was a far more important scientific center than was Zurich. Giants such as Planck lived there. Second, Einstein's position required no teaching. This was an important consideration since Einstein often complained that teaching responsibilities took too much time and energy away from his research activities. And a third reason was that Einstein wanted to be near a major observatory so he could interact with astronomers. More than ever, he strongly desired an astronomical, astronomical proof of the bending of light principle of his um, evolving theory of general rel relativity. In Berlin, there was at least one astronomer with whom he had been corresponding regularly. Regularly, Erwin Finley uh, Frodlich. Einstein did not immediately perceive a problem with the equations he had developed with Grossman. In early 1913, he wrote a letter to his friend Paul uh, Effernhest, 1880 to 1933, in which he summed up his achievements. Quote, the gravitational affair has been classified to my full satisfaction. One can sp specifically prove that generally covariant equations that completely determine the field from the matter tensor cannot exist, end quote. But within two years, Einstein recognized his mistake and in fact developed generally covariant equations his field equations of gravitation. This happened in Berlin at the height of World War I. But Einstein felt uh, left behind World War I. Um, but Einstein left behind him 
in Zurich a curious little notebook containing his der derivations of equations and attempts at arriving at the desired field equations of gravitation. This notebook would be discovered by researchers 80 years later and led to unexpected findings about Einstein's work. Einstein and Grossman parted ways when Einstein left Zurich. Grossman spent the following years dealing with special and political issues, social and political issues. He became deeply involved with charitable aid to students of all nationalities who had become prisoners of war. In 1920, he began to show signs of multiple, multiple sclerosis from which he would eventually die in 1936. In 1931, long after Einstein's general theory of relativity had been accepted by the world, Grossman wrote a bitter uh, treatise against aspects of the theory, apparently in anger after having heard that Einstein had given a lecture on these topics. Einstein seems to have forgi forgiven the betrayal of their friendship and research associ uh, association, and in 1955 wrote about Grossman and his collaboration in a moving and affectionate tone. He wrote that he had later discovered that the mathematical difficulty with which he and Grossman had struggled for many months in their work had been solved almost a century earlier by the German mathematician Bernard um, Riemann. Okay. And that's chapter five. Of God's equation, Einstein relativity, Relativity and the Expanding Universe by Amir D. S. Axel. Nice historical accounting of how things came to be. Apologies if I'm not reading the chat, gang. I wasn't reading the chat because it would definitely throw me off. Uh, I don't think I'm going to catch up on the chat, gang. I'm just at the bottom of the chat. Let's put number six back. Number is out of the box, out of my hat, right? I'm just going to have a couple of sips, Ref refresh myself. Zoot, how Einstein came up with theory of general relativity, the cornerstone of what scientists know about gravity, huge uh, objects and small ones, wrap the fabric of four dimensional space time. Dancing vigil salutations. Hope you're doing well. If there's anything that was directed towards me, gang, in the chat above, please let me know. I'm going to bring up the rumble chat as well. Doop. Elder, I know I'm on a train to work. No, you're on a train to work. Dancing vigil. Let's do a let's do a thought experiment on what it would look like. To travel close to the speed of light oh wait that was already done that was already done <laughs> oh god time is infinite but i don't believe it's uh one way yeah i agree with elder god to a certain degree right salute gang salute personally for me in regards to time i think everything happens at the same moment Pop a couple more eggs. Get some protein in us. Yummy. So. Oh my God, me too. Yeah. That's one thing I learned. Uh, my perception of time really changed, improved. I got a, I, I got a good handle on it. 
And that's one of the reasons I was reading the stuff regarding Einstein, relativity, quantum mechanics, and all this jazz. Uh, but Salvia de Bonor, uh, my experimentation with an apprenticeship with Salvia de Bonor, basically told me that uh, it everything is you can access all times, and everything uh, has been happening at the same moment. Okay. This interesting perspective is incredible. It's very difficult to verbalize. All the God, everything is happening at once, but we are stuck on one part of it. Or we have chosen to be here. Right. Uh, and we're there as well. Right. We can actually communicate uh, in the span of time that exists, that we exist anyway. Right. Dancing Vigil must have worked went through a tunnel and the jazz froze <laughs> everybody aged 100 years gang should we do another reading should we do another reading let's do another reading we got 11 people watching on rumble salute gang to the rumble crowd When I pull out the name, please feel free to uh, pick a page if you want red. And we've got 25 people on Twitch. Salutations, gang. Welcome to our live stream. Ah, dancing visual. They say time is what stops everything happening at once. Cool perspective. Random goose brains, how are you doing? Or moose brains, <laughs> goose brains, moose brains. Afternoon, Chicho and Chad, afternoon. Fringe has a great, uh, Elder God, Fringe has a great scene about time running all at once. I will find it. Ah, that'd be cool. Link it up for us and uh, guild, uh, uh, gilded. Gang, number. Pick a number, pick a number. Dancing visual, Chicho is frozen in time but the chat is still working <laughs> oh no he lost it <laughs> number 14 number 14 oh you got one part of it all the god <laughs> oh 14 <laughs> number 14 if you got the second one man that would have been awesome <laughs> all the gods are like damn 14 what's number 14 Oh, snap, crackle, pop. Oh my God, it's the book you read. The Tao of the I Ching, Way of Divination. Another book on time, really. Really. I Ching, All right? It's another book on time. If you want to break it down, right? Existence by Zhu Suang Hua. I have the coins. You have the coins. Very cool. Very cool. This book is broken into two parts. The first part is sort of description of the philosophy of it. The second part, if I recall correctly, is the different um, configurations of what they mean, sort of what would you say uh, the god uh, the the divinitions or the horoscope it's not a horoscope though it's uh the meaning behind the hexagrams i guess the combinations right 64 is a magic number here uh, i think it goes up to 64 it goes up to 64 i've read this a long time ago <laughs> It should go up to 64. I Ching is huge. Chi, the will to power. All right? Yeah, 64. It goes up to 64. Uh, 64 is uh, pretty big in many different fields. In many different fields. Okay. Uh, what page should we read? What page should we read? I think maybe we should read from the first part. And the first part is... Um, 
here. So there's chapter one, which is raising the veil of mystery. Chapter two, the miracle of definition. Uh, chapter three is the cradle of Chinese culture. And then uh, how to read the 64 hexagrams. And then part one is uh, all the different ones. And then there's part two, I guess. Yeah. Uh, what page should we read, gang? What page should we read? What should we read? Ch -ch -ch -ch. No one wastes my decision. I can make a decision. Maybe. I flip through and I'll find something that's uh, 47. Elder God comes in with 47. Let's read page 47. What have we got? We've got a lot of things highlighted here. Dancing Vigil 42. Raising the Veil of Mystery. Let me see what's lots of diagrams here. Look, there's even mathematics here. See this? This is page 41, right? So we're not going to go to 41. 47. Zoot. Ernest's theory works great for anything with matter, doesn't do much for the smaller scales in the universe. Yeah. And what about the things that aren't matter? Uh, Einstein's theories. What about the things that aren't matter? Right? Energy. This is page 47. I got some stuff highlighted here. And I have some stuff highlighted after. Like a fair bit of stuff highlighted here. So I'm thinking maybe we start on page 47 and 45. Okay, we're going to start on page 45, gang. Okay? It looks like a good place to start. Okay. Elder God, I'm familiar with the I Ching mathematics. is amazing. Yeah. And when I read this, it made like, I understood it. Uh, but I haven't looked into it a long time. So, uh, like two decades. So I haven't gone back to this. Um, so I have to, I would have to look back at it. Okay. So gang, how's our time factor? Wow, it's 3.15 already. We'll read more tomorrow since we laid everything down. Adramas, greetings, greetings. Gang, let's read a few pages from the Tao of the I Ching, Way, Way to Definition, by Zhou Suang Hua. Brutal pronouncing it. And this was... Uh, uh, copyrights uh, this is the sixth printing June 20 uh, 2000 the first printing uh, was Taiwan March 1983 okay and I got the sixth printing okay and we're gonna read chapter one raising the veil of mystery starting at page 45 okay starting at page 45 and we'll read until we get a nice break in the read which will probably be and i'll show you the pictures as we're going yeah this thing goes into the human body and everything i'm not sure how far we're going to get into this okay because there's a fair bit of like thinking about what's being said here i think okay page 45 i'm going to show you this diagram because it's referring to the diagram the above diagram shows the distribution of the hexagram oh hold on the above diagram shows the distribution of the hexagrams in groups that occurred if we think of yin yin plus yang raised to the sixth power Here's the diagram. So the above diagram uh, diagram shows the distribution of the hexagrams in groups that occurred if we think of yin plus yang raised to the sixth power, 
The diagram shows that the traditional methods of deriving the order of the 64, uh, 64 hexagrams are not the only ones and that new and modern de derivations can be evolved. A student of mathematical statistics might note the similarity of the diagram to the standard curves used in statistics to predict events and find new uh, find many new things from the study of the hexagram those of us who uh, apply it to everyday life can easily find as many things suppose for example we take a yin line as being in day when our in intelligence and intuition is most dominant and a yang line as a day when our sense of action and effective action is most dominant then we can read each hexagram as the six days of a week in this study we'll find less than one week a year when our intelligence is totally dominant and the same for our ability to act weeks when all weeks when all but one day is dominant one way or the other will occur six times a year for each possibility finally we have the weeks where the two are evenly balanced or close to it these will occur 78 percent of the time or about four weeks in every five we are now at the core of the I Ching. It's 64 hexagrams. Each hexagram contains six yos, yaos, and people always ask the question, quote, a tri trigram has three yaos. Why, why don't they use four for the next step? Or for that matter, five or seven? Why six, end quote? The question was occasion, um, occasionally a con conversation point when in, in ancient times but it was largely a waste of energy the equivalent of medieval christian the theo uh, theologians arguing about how many angels can dance on the head of a pen to understand why six yaws are used ask yourself the following why does a foot have 12 inches why does a meter have a hundred cent hundred 100 centimeters why does an hour have 60 minutes why why isn't our week nine days instead of seven all we can say in reply is that experience shows that a foot is a very convenient way to solve most problems of measurement in daily life true if we need to measure the diameter of a hair on the distance between new york and boston we need a special division of measurements but otherwise a foot will do fine the same is true of the hexagram using six yaws six yaws can solve most of our daily problems but we are free to use what is useful for us it is not hard to imagine that we might m make up a series of seven lines line figures and use them to study our weekly activities we can see how different numbers of yaws are useful by other studies of the moon we can use yin and yang or filled in circle and open circle or double dash and single dash to talk about the new and full periods this is one yao then if we begin to talk about the quarters we need to use the four symbols which are built in, built with two yaws if we want still more detail we can use the eight trigrams with their three yaws and hexagrams with six yaws as shown in figure 1a e 1a 5e and 1a 5f Of course, this concept can apply to many things. 
if we take the circle in the center to be the sun and imagine the outer sphere to be the earth then we are studying the seasons We can study the career of an individual or a nation and it is clear we can use even more than six lines if we want for example someone can make up a seven yao symbol and use it to study the course of the week so we re repeat six lines can show clearly that we need to know about most problems of daily life but we can sometimes use fewer or more lines. Another important matter is the ordering of the 64 hexagrams. We saw how Fu, Si, Hesi, and others arranged the eight trigrams into a complete circle cycle and used this order in a logical way. How do we arrange the 64 hexagrams in a circle that makes sense? One way is the example of yin plus yang which generates a mathematical sequence in the Zhou dynasty mathematicians had not yet developed to this degree of sophistication in algebra instead the Chinese used an ingenious visual method first they arranged the eight trigram trigrams in the Fu Si arrangement as shown in figure 1-5G. Note that in these diagrams, the bottom line is the one closest to the circle, which stands for the Earth. To develop the 64 hexagrams from the eight trigrams, they expanded eight trigrams further out from the center and drew a circle around it. Now all they had to do was put another eight trigrams around each circle. To read a hexagram, we read first the inner trigram and then the series of outer trigrams circling it. We have eight hexagrams then we go go on to the next circle circle trigram in the diagram and get another eight and so on as shown in figure one dash five h The final result of this kind of computation by diagram is a wheel like the one shown below. The one shown here is derived using a circular order that follows the pattern of the eight trigrams we derived by branching yin and yang as shown in figure 1-5i. The ancient students of the I Ching also invented a grid pattern for developing the 64 hexagrams in an orderly manner. If we study the block below, we will see that the inner bottom trigrams are always the same in each file going across, while the outer upper trigrams are the same in each vertical row as shown in figure 1-5J. If we combine the wheel and the grid, we get this frequently reproduced diagram as shown in figure 1-5K.
the diagram looks as tightly packed with data as a railroad timetable. Since the hexagrams related to any subject, they are relate can hexagrams relate to any subject, they contain much information in them. Yet we can see how they begin with a simple notion of Wu Qi and Tai Chi, yin and yang, and expand to more complicated situations in a few steps. In a similar way, at times we may be in a mood to see that all human actions begin with the simple relationship on one of one person to another, and at other times marvel at the complexity of, and richness of other human social world, which seems unbounded. The order of yo in a hexagram is red from bottom to top. The image of this is the earth below with things growing out of it to the sky. The simple order of yo, yao, from the bottom is first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and top yao. For each of these yaos in a hexagram, they are a text or judgment giving the meaning of the yao. We also use the odd number nine to represent a yang quality occupying a yao and even number six to represent a yin quality occupying it. A sample is shown in figure 1-5. L. Where is the five L? I. Okay. The first and second. I'm going to show you this. I think I was supposed to be E. There might have been a typo. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to show you this. The first and second Yao are the beginning stages or an omen of an event or phenomena. The first and top Yao indicate its conclusion and fulfillment. These are the beginning and end of the six Yaos. Also, the inner dot trigram represents the past and the outer one, the future. Their combination represents our present. We must keep in mind that the notion of past, present, and future are among the most complex and mysterious um, perceptions we have. We do not perceive the past and future in everyday life and experience, but a kind of continuous present that is perceived without, without a beginning or end. And yet without notion of past and future we could not organize our lives and the world in which we live further we can easily imagine how the past affects the future but how can the future change the past consider two men who have separ separately been working towards some goal for three years to date next year the work will be completed and one man will fail completely and the other will succeed Next year, one man will say, quote, that three years of work was a waste of time, end quote, end quote. And the other will say, quote, those were the most productive year, three years of my life, end quote. Yet right now, the three years do not have meaning for either of the two men. We look at them and see that they are both the same. In this case, the future will give the past its meaning in the same way we find ourselves making experiments in living and later saying, quote, that was stupid, end quote, or quote, that was smart, end quote. Yet, as we make these experiments in the present, we can only give them our best efforts without always knowing that meaning until some future time. Let's end the reading there. Because I think that's a great place to end it since we were just talking about the past, present, and future. And when I was reading this, I found these two pages extremely interesting 20 years ago, 
right? Very cool perspective on life. Uh, and that was page, what was that? Page 47. That was page 47 to 51 of the Tao of the I Ching, Way to Divination by Zhou Song Hua. Okay. Fantastic. I like this elder God says, let's read it. Uh, we must keep in mind that the notion of past, present and future are among the most complex and mysterious, mysterious perceptions we have. We do not perceive the past and future in everyday life and experience, but a kind of continuous present that is perceived without, without a beginning or end. And yet without notion of past and future, we could not organize our lives and the world in which we live very cool very cool very cool right very cool very cool very cool how's our timing how's our timing so far we only got two book readings in should we do another quick one should we do another quick reading game salute i read this when i was 16 you read it when you were 16 i read it when the early 30s six more <laughs> meta meta answer. well we're going to do more readings tomorrow same time same place right just got here deep flake let's do a reading deep flake we picked out 21 books we got 21 numbers here we're picking them at random and picking excerpts we've done two readings so far okay let's do another one we're going to make this one a, a quick read so we don't go over right you say number 11 <laughs> <laughs> that's like a gambler elder god should have quit when you were ahead you got the one you got the one what is it 21 oh 21 oh man how can we do a quick reading golden dawn <laughs> what's that big book golden dawn done deep flake number 21 totally useless <laughs> it was like golden dawn page six okay we're gonna do this gang number 21 golden dawn this is the 1990 version oh my god that's what, that's what they came up the flake <laughs> no the, the flake what are you div divining here what are you divining or sending your magic across the across the realm right page 666 let's check this out are these numbered properly oh these aren't numbered properly they're per section um. <laughs> check this out what postcard is this what postcard is this it's an absolute postcard in the book absolute <laughs> here let's check this out let's put the i'll put the postcard back in there that's a whole stream read that's a whole stream read uh is that the one written by bill gates <laughs> it's hilarious so gang take a look this is um okay the complete so we're gonna read page i can't read page 666 because it's not numbered that way let me find that. Oh, it's got some cool pictures here. These are in different volumes and there's no page 666, but we could go to volume six, page 66. Is there page 66 in volume six? yes there is nice that's what we're gonna do that's what we're gonna do okay gang okay our third book reading for today this book is the complete golden dawn system of magic written by israel regardi 
Okay. Some people consider this book important. I just actually talked to someone yesterday, a uh, book binding specialist in the world. I went into an old bookstore yesterday and uh, we had about an hour and a half conversation on magic, uh, Bibles, teachings, uh, this, other things. And he considers this to be not uh the not the quintessential it's just fun not even fun it, it, he considered he just brushed it aside he talked about other things which uh, uh which i wasn't aware of some of them some of them i had heard of before okay but this is a it is an important book uh this is the 1990 edition here's a couple of pictures here Okay. This is Israel Regardi, born November 17th, 1907, died March 10th, 1985. The Complete Golden Dawn, and this should be the 1990 version, 1990. Check it out. 1990 version okay and what we're gonna do we're gonna read volume six i should have volume six just read a page or two we're gonna read a volume six outer order rituals on and commentaries volume 6 page 66 might as well might as well november 17th is auction stream 230 god willing okay november 17th you gotta remind me september october so month month and a bit away okay good that's good so page 66 this says what do we got mm-hmm uh, important tables and illustrations page 66 will be a part of lament of the the duchess lament the duchess so let's go to page 66 let's see what that is wow Look at page 64. Look at page 64. Right? That's page 64. And page 66 actually of the three chiefs. This whole situation. Yeah, let's reach page 66 and we're going to start reading it from here of the three sh chiefs, chefs, chiefs, of the three chiefs, okay, let's check this out. And we're going to read to page 68. Okay. The three, sh the three chiefs are in the temple and rule it. Yet they are not comprehended, comprehended in, nor understood by the outer order. They represent as it were veiled divinities sending a form to sit before the veil prakoth prakath and like the veils of isis 
and nephethes impenetrable save impenetrable save to the initiate the synthesis of the three three chiefs may be said to be in the form of thoth thoth who cometh from behind the veil at the point of its rend rending yet separately they may be thus referred the the imperator from his relation to jibora may be referred to the goddess Nef Nef the premonstrator from his relation to chess 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 it may be referred to the goddess isis the cancellarius from his property of recorder may be referred to the god thoth no ceremony of the outer order may take place without a chief preferably the three chiefs or their vice uh, genera generates represent and on account of the stations on the dais it is well to have these stations filled by an adept should a chief be absent these stations and those of the officers are called the visible stations of the gods and descriptions of the forms which an adept officer builds up as a focus of force are given in another paper the invisible stations these are one the station of the carabin two the stations of the children of horus three the stations of the evil one four the stations of the har harpocrats harpocrats five the stations of isis nepheus Aro aroris first the kurobem these are shown in the color palette section of this book the stations of the man the lion the bull and the eagle are at the four cardinal points without the hall an invisible guardian of the limits of the temple they are placed according to the winds beyond the stations of herophant dadochas harius and stolis and in this order do their symbols appear in all warrants of temples the carob of air for formulates behind the throne of herophat she has a young girl's countenance and form with large and shadowy wings and she is a power of the great goddess hathor who unites the powers of isis and nefer nephthias to the sign aquarius in is she referred as a uh, cor correlative which represents springs of water breaking upon earth though as a zodiacal sign it is referred to air the container of rain the egyptian name of the sign aquarius is fretithi quote thou shalt not confound the kurubim with their signs of the zodiac notwithstanding that the latter be under the pres presidency of the former seeing that the carob repre representeth a far more sublime potency yet acting by a harmonious sym sympathy through the particular sign allotted onto their correspondence end quote the carob of fire has the face and form of a lion with large and clashing wings he formulates behind the throne of uh, dadoches and he is a power of the great goddess tharpish or tharfeshest tharfeshest the latter syllable being nearly pashed 
The action of the lion Kerub is through the flaming fire of Leo, of which the Egyptian name is Lab Labo A. The Kerub of water has the face and form of a great eagle with large and glistening wings, and he formulates behind formulates behind the throne of Harris. He is a power of the great god Tamu, T-M-U, and his operation is by the sign of Scorpio, which is called the Egyptian Slia E. The Carib of Earth has a face and form of bull with heavy and darkening wings. He formulates behind the throne of Stolius, and he is a power of he ha, he is a power of the great god Afa she and his operation is by the sign taurus called the ta ur in egyptian second the children of horus between the invisible stations of the cherubim are those of the four vice generants of the elements and they are situated situated at the four corners of the temple at the places marked by the four rivers of eden in warrant in the warrant the body of a warrant authorizing the formation and establishment of a temple represents the temple itself of which the guardian are the cherubim and the vice generants in the places of the rivers asa asim shet man headed is placed in the northeast between the man and the bull asham set or Asham, Asham, the Amish, Amisheth. The spelling is Coptic and differs according to the force intended to be invoked by the letters. Tau Mathafa, jackal headed, is placed in the southeast between the man and the lion. Tomath or Tomomathi. Afia. Ape faced is placed in the southern west between the lion and the eagle. Afia or Afapex. Kabeksnov, hawk faced, is placed in the northwest between the eagle and the bull. Kabeksnov or Dab Dabeksnova. Third, the station of the evil, evil one. This station is in the place of Yusod and is called the station of the evil one, the slayer of Os Osiris. He is the temp tempter, accuser, and punisher of the brethren, and in Egypt is represented mostly by the head of the water dragon, the body of the lion or leopard, and the hind parts of the water horse. He is the administrator of the power of the evil triad. The scooping dragon, Apophrasis, the slayer was of a slayer of Osiris, Sathan Phaiphon, the brutal power of demonic forces, Besis. The synthesis of this evil triad, quote, the mouth of the power of destruction, end quote, is called the Omu Sazathan. Fourth, the station of Harpocrates. The invisible stations of Harpocrates is in the path of Shemek between the station of Hegmon and the invisible station of the evil triad. Harpocrates is the god of silence and mystery, whose name is the word of this grade of Naphayat. He is the younger brother of Horus, Horopo. Kratis. Fifth, the station of Isis and Nephatias. The stations of Isis and Nephatias are respectively at the places of the pillars in Natchez and Hod, and those great goddesses are not otherwise shown in the grade, save in connection with the Praia Monstrator and Im Imperator as operating through the herfant seeing that isis 
corresponds to the pillar of mercy and naf naphthias to that of severin severity severity and therefore the position of the pillars or obliques are but as it were the places of their feet the stations of aquarius the invisible stations of aro not aquarius aurorius aurorius horus the elder is beside the herophant as though representing the power of osiris to the outer order for while the Harophat is an adeptus, he is shown only as lord of the paths of the portal, so that when the Herphant moves from the throne of the east, he is no longer Osiris but Aurorius. Yet when the Herophant is on the dais, the station of Aurorius is that of the immediate past herophant who sits on the herophant's left aro arist this ends the constant constitutory symbolism of a temple in the grade of nafayat should a member have occasion to quit this place he shall do it moving from the course of the sun course of the sun as he passes to the place of Harophant, he shall salute with the sign. And when he enters or quits the temple, he shall salute the Harophant's throne when within the portal. Wow. So this is, was basically explaining the position of the people, I guess, the what did it refer to them? Uh, where people were supposed to stand. And so here's some of the pictures. Heavy. Oof, the names. So here's some of the pictures of the. Right? Like, I'm not kidding you, just timing of this. I was at a book binder's ancient book binder. Like, practicing the ancient arts and he was talking about some of the stuff and showing me what he was doing with the covers of the books with letter binding them and putting what we just read the position of different things of uh, where the symbols are supposed to go on the covers of the books where this would go here that would go there that would go there the symbol would be in the middle and all this jazz right very cool uh, this book I got for free because friends were getting rid of it. And I said, I'll take it. Like, don't throw it away. Like, what are you guys doing? Uh, I'll take it. So I took it off their hands. Uh, but I think this book is two, three hundred bucks, three, four hundred bucks, maybe. It's expensive. The original uh, of this is into the thousands. The first printing. Uh, the first printing, I think, is 1983. This is 1990. metamancer extreme syncretism although it has a lot of jewish mythicism uh, mysticism it is very uh, contaminated with christianity other religions and uh, cultures like egypt that's uh what the golden dawn are like yeah uh, according to what the guy was uh, talking to yesterday he didn't uh, think of the golden dawn uh, had he dismissed it he totally dismissed it right and then he started talking about some of the other stuff he's done and he showed me uh, uh, on his computer showed me uh, some of the work that he had done in binding some of the old texts we're talking texts that are uh, like he's worked on the Gutenberg Bible where there's like only three copies uh, like this guy's sought after worldwide right so uh, he filled me in on some of this stuff, which was interesting, uh, to say the least. All right, first time chat, Galamain768. 
uh, suffice it to say, I don't think I'm going to be visiting him again. I'm not into dark magics and stuff like those or magic in general, even though many things are magic, right? Uh, but I don't want to go down that rabbit hole uh, at all. To me, the entheogenic psychedelic rabbit hole is my natural state, right? And that requires a lot of time if you're going to put, uh, if you're going to not get burned by it, right? When I see that, I ignore it. Meta metamancer. When I, uh, yes, when I see the cross, I ignore. It. Well, it depends. It's it's. There's a lot of symbolism. There's a lot of power in symbols, right? Sigils and stuff, right? Salute gang. Uh, clowny, haha. Snacks. I got eggs. I decided to go with protein today. I boiled some eggs, hard boiled some eggs. Kalani, haha. I went down a cannabis rabbit hole on Monday. Haha. Honk, 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 honk. I hadn't smoked since 2009, the last Monday. I had five eggs today. Yum. Yeah. I. This is three eggs I, I've been munching on. Super yummy. Amazing snack. Elder God, are we going to raid? Raid option. Okay. Let's do it. And I'm going to, in a couple of weeks, I was keeping track of uh, uh, Scott Ritter's uh, streams. He's streaming on Tuesdays, I believe. I forget the Tuesday time, but on Fridays, he's streaming 5 o'clock my time. Not this Friday, but maybe next Friday. We'll set up a stream at four o'clock and then raid him within the hour. You cook your eggs with cast iron. Yeah, yeah. This was just uh, hard boiled. I wanted it hard boiled, just a simple snack. But I, uh, eggs every which way. Teflon? Hell no. Don't touch Teflon, gang. I go to some people's homes. They have Teflon. We have no choice. Cook on Teflon. But Teflon? No. Cast iron is it. All right, Connie huh? got my root canal. Oh, two days ago, they put Teflon on my teeth. Oh, tooth. Oh, hard boiled eggs give me the farts. Hong Kong, <laughs> Hong Kong. <laughs> He's drinking whiskey. We'll go in there with tequila. Gang, we're going to be back tomorrow, two o'clock West Coast. Okay, my time. Same time, we're going to start. As we started today we did three readings today right uh, tomorrow hopefully we'll get more in and we'll see where the readings take us uh, there's some good reads here there's some good reads here okay and uh, we'll see what we can get done and maybe we'll continue this types of uh, live streams uh, just we'll do a lot of readings anyway so uh, I like this style sort of just picking excerpts and reading them Kalani Chicho, uh, you have the best voice. Man. Thank you. Thanks for thanks for the love, brother. <laughs> Salute. Just popped on quickly. Okay. So, gang, I'm gonna do my quick little outro. Thank you for being here, by the way, gang. Uh, if you wanna follow this work, I'm on Patreon, Substack, Subscribe Star. Uh, you can follow the work there. We're live streaming on Twitch and on rumble for now we'll see where else we're going to start live streaming okay uh outro outro and we do have a guild server you're definitely welcome to join us there uh gang i'm going to copy this guy's name so we can do a raid on this dude Ooh. copy nice uh which book uh enormous look okay. which book are we reading which we, we read three we read the uh, a little bit of the golden dawn okay we read uh, the tower of the I Ching, and we read god's equation oh we lost the number what number did we lose oh we lost lost number 15 and we read uh, god's equation uh, let's intro tomorrow on youtube uh, maybe i'll try i'll try okay maybe i try gang i am recording this on a lapel mic as well we'll do um uh, as a podcast so it should be available there and on your favorite podcasting platform we are on twitter 
Mines, VK, Gap, uh, Getter, and Substack Notes. Yeah, enormous vocabulary. You can watch on uh, on um, a video on demand on Twitch for the next two weeks, and I'll probably have it uploaded uh, on the other platforms. Maybe next week. Maybe next week. But we see. You ever do a house tour video? A house tour? Not right now. Not right now. Uh, it's just a lot going on. A lot going on. A lot going on. Ditch Google and start using Brave. Awesome. Yeah, Clowny. I'm very happy using Brave. Gang, Oswell, salute to the mods. Salute to the mods. I will remind you tomorrow. We could grab more. Chicho. We could. Let's see what we do. Okay. Um, I'll try to set it up. Uh, no, we got off enormous. We got off Discord because there was, they started censoring. They started killing channels. So we did preemptive. We're out of there. We're not going to stick around on too many, too many platforms that censor their users. Fuck censorship. It's fascism. Gang, we're going to do a raid. We're on Gilded, though. We're on Gilded. Raid. Let's check it out. Gang, I'll see you tomorrow if you can make it. More reading, more reading, more reading. Everybody should read more. Everybody should read more. Okay. Channel is intended to mature audiences. Good enough. We're going to raid. Gang, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, everyone.